Okay, great. Go ahead. Howdy, Atu. If you can uh, share your screen, please. Yeah. Um, yeah, so for us, we actually use Brassica Rapper throughout our launches to see the effect of radiation on Brassica Rapper seed germination and the growth. Can you guys see my screen? Mm, we yes. can. You want to click slideshow up in the upper right? Yeah. That's the right hand side, upper, upper right hand side. Farther to the right, farther, okay. farther, farther. There, yes, we can see your screen. Go. Why is it not changing? Um, why is it not changing? Hmm. It's not allowing me to flip the pages. But... Hmm. Yeah. Can you stop your timer for a second, Ron? I, I already did. Yeah. Um, if you click on the screen, does it not go to the next slide? Yeah. If you it's use the arrow key, does it not go to the next slide? No, it's not. You made, okay. oh, there you go. Okay. okay, I'll start my timer now. Okay. Like I said, we basically wanted to know how cosmetic radiation affects Brassica rapa seed germination. So we use the weather balloon and we fill the balloon with helium along with neutron tube. This is the neutron tube and this is the neutron tube in a payload and that's the seed underneath the neutron tube. And we flew the balloon multiple times along with the the neutron tube. And basically we're focusing on two type of radiation, which was ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. Basically both radiations have the same effect on the seas germination, but ionizing radiation have really high like energy as compared to non-ionizing radiation. And this is just image of the Brassica wrapper C that was put in a dish before flying the seeds with the balloon. And this is just an image of Brassica wrapper seed that was growing on a normal condition. So this is the process that we took for the entire process. We had 100 seeds and then 50 was flying and 50 was kept in a lab, which was the control. And then after flying the balloon, we basically got the seed and planted the seed in the soil with plus neutrons and minus neutrons. So the plus neutron is the seed that are flying with the balloon and the minus neutron is the seeds that are kept in the lab. So the seeds was water every other day for four weeks. And after the four weeks, germination of seeds started. This is the image of plus neutrons and minus neutrons seeds germination. And after the four weeks of germination, we basically extracted the plants from the soil with how is it called? We extracted the plant from the soil with twisted and laid them down on the table and clear out of the soil from the root and measure this, the root and the stem of each plant that grew in the soil, both plus and minus. This is just the camera that we use in our pillow that was tracking the balloon. And this is the result, like some of the results from the experiment, according like include all of the results, but I'll basically talk about it. As you can see, the seeds that were flowing basically grew faster and longer than the ones that were kept in the lab, which was basically surprising to a lot of people because according to our hypothesis, we hypothesized that the seeds that were flowing would grow a little bit slower and shorter, and the one that was kept in the lab would grow like longer and faster, but based on our data collected, it was actually the opposite. And based on the root and the stem germination, the seeds that were flowing and the seeds that were kept in the lab, there was little significant difference between the one that was flowing because it had greater growth length for both stem and root. 
And this is just the conclusion that we gather after the experiment that the seeds that were exposed to neutron grew faster. And when the seeds came back with the balloon, there was no physical difference between the ones that were kept in the lab and the ones that were flowing. And during the fourth semester, we actually flew seeds, but unfortunately the seeds did not grow because it was exposed to the temperature up there and was really cold. So when the seeds came back, like after two days, the seeds just died, couldn't grow. And this is just the entire team from the NAPP. And I just want to thank the Minnesota Space Grant, Summer Scholar, and Professor Eric and Dr. Roy for being a great mentor throughout this process. Thank you, Kariyatu. Thanks.